Hello again, this is Connie. I just want to say a few words about different personas that you can take on. You want to be somebody engaging and positive. I got to tell you a story. Um, before I knew very much about hypnosis, I went to a show at one time and the hypnotist on the stage show, it was so unfunny. And the people on the stage were so uncooperative with the hypnotist because he didn't know how to manage his own state. He didn't know how to be creative. And, you know, he came out with all this ridiculous stuff that really shocked and appalled me. And he said to people, if you don't do what I say, your head will explode. How's that for a lovely situation? That is nothing like anything you would ever come up with from our class. In our class, you're going to learn how to actually be engaging, how to get rapport and cooperation from your participants and from the audience, and how to manage yourself on stage, all kinds of different things, physically how to manage yourself on stage, how, where your attention should be, where your voice should be, where your face should be, and you learn all of these details as part of this training. Um, you do want to be very, very positive. And then I'm going to tell another story here. Another thing, a story, these are called Don't Be Like This. These are bad hypnotists, okay? We went to an event, and they had a hypnotist there, and it was so horribly boring. No funny whatsoever. There was no laughter. There was no humor. There was no fun. It was just like, what the hell is this? And it was probably the worst stage show I've ever seen. And this person was like a dead lump of wood and big old pauses where he wasn't keeping things moving and he didn't know what he was doing and he had no control and it just terrible. Basically, the person was not a stage hypnotist. He was just a hypnotist trying to pretend to be a stage hypnotist, but he didn't know how to put himself in the right state. What you're here, what you're going to learn in our class is the real deal. You're not going to be some bullshit artist. You're going to be the real deal. You're going to be somebody who knows what they're doing and is good at it because we make sure that you learn this stuff. When you come to our trainings, you learn. You really, really learn. Um, so you become a good hypnotist, a creative hypnotist, a funny hypnotist. Everybody is funny. Everything is funny. The humor is everywhere. And again, as Michael said, you're going to learn the skill set to create funny out of anything. Somebody can pull a, a package of Tic Tacs out of their pocket and say, blue. And you could make a joke and a skit out of those two words, the word Tic Tac and blue, and you could create something in your mind that would be amazingly funny that you could have your, your people on stage act out. Um, it's so easy to be funny. I remember one stage show we went to where the two people were supposed to be Martians and talking to each other, and they just took over the whole show with their own creativity, and the hypnotist went and sat down in the front row like, I'm just going to watch this myself. This is hilarious. And when the hypnotist sat down in the front row, that brought so much humor also. So knowing how to conduct yourself, knowing how to milk something that's happening spontaneously for even more humor, that's all part of this. Okay, I'm turning it back to Michael so he can talk some more. It's his turn.